The Cowboys showdown with the Chiefs is America's Game of the Week on Fox. With Dak and Mahomes both coming off dominant wins, there will be no shortage of confidence, and the winner will be taking some serious momentum into the home stretch of the regular season. So, Shannon, who wins, Dallas or Kansas City? <sighs> I'm going to take the Chiefs. No, I believe it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be a very high-scoring game, Skip. Um, I thought Mahomes did a very good job of taking what was given to him last last week. He took the underneath stuff. He took the shallows. He took the uh, the quick hitches. Uh, he didn't try to force the ball down the field. And the question is, moving forward, can you do this game after game after game, mm. knowing by, by nature, you are a risk taker. You love pushing the ball down the field. I think if he can do that, continue to do what he did against the Raiders, take what they give him, take that rim route, take the flat, take uh, Kelsey on, on, on the shallow cross, take Kelsey on the, on the little hitch, and let him turn and get up in the shadow. Give Tyreek opportunity. They're, now, I think now it, it's going to be easier for him to get Tyreek because they're going to be bailing. I promise you, Trayvon Diggs is not going to be taking the risk that he would normally take in a game because there is no makeup for these guys. Mm. You, you, you take a risk on this, and it's an out and up or it's a stop and go, it's over. You're not catching up with these guys. They okay, got too much quick speed. point of order from you, the Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. Trevon Diggs has been traveling. It's the first year that he's traveled. He, he just takes well, the you, best receiver, and he says, I got him. No, you, he ain't taking okay. Tyreek. No. Okay. He, gonna, he might travel with Tyreek, but he knows he has help over the top. You, I, I am with you. You have to have help. <laughs> yeah. Tyreek has been targeted the second most in the league to Cooper Cup. Right. They're Mahomes is just going to throw it and throw it and throw right. it to the little cheetah. Yeah. Because he is the fastest man on the planet in, in shoulder pads. Yes. Right? Yes, he is. Okay. And so it's just going to happen. It's going to happen. And what happened at Tampa a year ago, you remember right. just before the Bucks went on their bye, right. was devastating because in the first quarter alone, he basically won the game right. just throwing it to Tyreek. And, and the thing is, Skip, it's like, we're like man, why do we got to try to prove that we can cover this man one-on-one? -on -one? Man, let's play this coverage. We'll dare him to run the football. Yeah. We'll dare him to take the underneath stuff. Because Remember the Bucks dared him with Carlton Davis. They said, he's our best corner. Let's just play him straight up. Uh, yeah. No. And he was chasing him the whole first quarter. <laughs> so, Skip, look, when I look at the Cowboys, I believe the Cowboys from top to bottom, offense, defense, special teams, I believe they have the better team. I think the Chiefs have the better coach. But I just believe Mahomes is great enough that he can win a game of this magnitude. Mm. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go 33-31. Mahomes gets them in field goal range. Mm -hmm. Buckner walks it off, and they win 33-31. Okay. <sighs> that didn't cover, um, though. <laughs> that doesn't cover. Oh, that's two and, and a half. <laughs> two and a half. So that's two. <sighs> I'm going to go to your last point first. I will give you the Chiefs have a way better coach than my coach. <laughs> my coach is now Coach Monkey Butt because he used Monkey Butt powder to motivate his team, according to him, to bounce back against Atlanta. God only knows what ploy, what lame, weak, embarrassing <laughs> ploy he came up with this week. Last, last year, it was smashing watermelons the night before the game at Minnesota in the team hotel, right. creating a huge mess that the hotel staff did not appreciate. But the point is, you know he came up with another one because now he's trying to show the world, I do have a personality. Right. Forget about hard knocks. I know I came off a little lame and hard knocks, but I do. I have motivational skills. Stop it. No, you don't. So if, if this is a close game, and I agree with you, I think it's going to come down to the wire. I just hope that Coach Monkey Butt stays out of the way. Because <laughs> if he gets in the way, I'm going to lose. Because if he does get forced to time manage, to clock manage, oh, no, I, I will be in trouble. Because every time it's falling up on his shoulders, like at Chargers, I'm just covering my eyes because it was a near disaster at the mm -hmm. end of the game. Mm -hmm. So let's just eliminate that factor. If my coach gets in the way, I will lose the game. If he becomes a critical late factor, I will lose the game. In other words, game. you said if my coach has to coach, I'm going to yes. lose. It, especially if he has to clock manage right. coach or big picture right. manage or make a, a critical late decision. What about fourth downs? Because you know your guy in the tour, he loves going well, for he fourth, just goes for it oh, yeah, time. fourth downs. And, and you know what? He's been doing that his whole career. So this is nothing new for him. And I'll give him that because he does have a quarterback that I do trust yeah. on fourth down. So, so he's just closing his eyes and plunging. That's just what he does. Right. I don't even think he second guesses. He just goes for it. Right. Okay. Now let's go to the bigger picture here. I am going to pick my team to win this game. 
but I can't do it on paper. I, I can't do it statistically because there are a lot of things I don't love about this game. I'm just going to tell you what I've told you about my team since before the season started, since hard knocks. And that is, there's just something different about my team. It starts with Dak. He's just playing in a new comfort zone. I, I can't defend what happened against your Broncos, and it does give me pause. I, I can't explain it. He just had a bad day at the office. Right. And he'd been out for a couple of weeks, and maybe it was rust, maybe it was overconfidence, maybe he just got off wrong and stayed wrong until they, they threw him back into the fray and let him play the fourth quarter, and then he, was, he got back on the horse and rode it. Mm -hmm. But the point is, I like my team's backbone. I like its football character. I like its unity. I like its new body language. I like it, dare I say, I like its swagger. Even on defense, they just look like they think they're going to win the game. Mm -hmm. And they haven't done that before for a very long time, where I trusted their body language from the first quarter through the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give my defense this. You've said it's below average. You've said that the Broncos exposed it. But what it does is it sucks it up and guts it out on critical down yeah and, and it's been doing it all year mm -hmm. and, and i can't defend it in the big picture because if you do the big picture the the full slate of stats they're no, no good right they're below average right. pro football focus doesn't like them as a defense over the right. what have they played uh, nine mm -hmm. games okay seven and two so over nine games i can't defend it but i can defend one stat on third down defense they rank third in the league. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty great well, that, that's because great, yeah. games are won and lost yeah. on third down, especially in this kind of a game. You got you to get off the field okay. on third down. So what did they do at Kirk Cousins? It wasn't all Kirk's fault, but against the Kirk Cousins offense, yeah. they, they held it with their backup quarterback playing for Dallas. Mm -hmm. my, my Cowboy defense held Kirk Cousins and company to one of 13 and then turned it around against Matt Ryan, who came in hot-handed from his big win at New Orleans, mm -hmm. and held him to 1 of 11 on third and 0 of 2 on fourth down. Mm. Okay? That's how you win football games at this level, right. probably at any level. Okay? The corollary to this, the antithesis of this stat is the Chiefs' offense is number one on third down conversions <laughs> because they're really good. Yep. And Patrick Mahomes has really struggled this year but he is really good on third down. He can run it for the, the right. you scramble it and, and take off and make crucial third downs. Andy Reid's one of the best play callers, if not the best. So it's going to come down to my defense hanging in on third down. You, you'll, you'll be able to look at the stats on Sunday night and just say, well, wait, a, yeah, wait a second, the Chiefs were 8 of 14 on third down and they won the game. Or the Chiefs are going to be three of 13, and you're going to yeah. say, oh. Well, yeah, they let the Chiefs go eight of 14. They go, yeah. It's going to be hard for them okay. to win the game. Well, you can just usually just book it. You can just look at it. Yeah. And, and we might even add in a couple of fourth downs well, yes. on that, too. Yes. But you guys, Skip, what you guys do also do a good job of is that your offense do a great job where they have, and especially in the games that they've won, of cashing in in the red zone. Yep. So if you hold people on third down, and then when you get into the red zone, you pay it off with touchdowns instead of field goals, mm -hmm. because that's what you got to do to beat Mahomes. Okay. You're not gonna be, You're probably not gonna beat him, Skip. Even though he's not had a typical Mahomes season, you're probably not gonna beat this team on the road kicking field goals. And they are a terrible red zone defense. Mm -hmm. Normally teams pay it off when they get into yep. Kansas City's red zone. They do. They normally pay it off with I touchdowns. Okay. So if that continues that trend. But by the way, Kansas City is 16th. Against third down on, on defense. Yes. Okay, so they're they're just below, middle slightly of the below. Yeah, okay. they were yeah. average. They're okay. average. 16 right. 32. Okay. So now we get to the crux of this. My quarterback has to outplay your quarterback. And I'm not talking about overall stats. I'm not talking about yards passing because I would not bet against or bet for Dak right. outpassing Patrick Mahomes because it's just who Andy Reid is. Right. He just throws it because that's who he is. That's his ego speaking. They don't like to run it. They run it just as an afterthought because you have to run it a little bit. But they're going to throw the football. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I don't doubt that Patrick will, will have, we'll have more passing yards. He'll, he'll have 350. He might even have 400. Right. I don't know. But I believe this is the key stat. You know what my favorite quarterback stat is? QBR because mm -hmm. it takes into account everything that went into the game, including what you did with your legs. Right. 
and consistency. It takes into account what you did on third down as opposed to first and second down. Well, I believe Dak will have a little better QBR than Patrick. And by the way, on the year, Dak ranks ninth in QBR and Patrick is 10th in QBR. So he's just slightly ahead mm -hmm. of him. And I believe he'll be slightly ahead of him in this game. But you can't just rely on Dak to throw some big party at Arrowhead to win the game in you know, 42 to 30, I mean, like 42 to 39. Yeah. What, what you need is you've got to control the clock. So right. what, what's Dallas in time of possession this year? They're sixth, which right. is pretty good. Yeah, very well, good. Well, why are they sixth? Because in running the football, they rank fourth. Much of the year, they've been second. They've kind of teetered the last right. couple of games. But they're fourth in running the football. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you beat Patrick? You just play keep away, yeah, you, right? You, you, okay, you so you have to play some keep away. Right. Obviously, Dak has to be Dak, and and you need to get CD involved and spread the wealth and get Amari and Gallup and, and Pollard, all of them involved. And you better keep the other guy off the field, yeah. or he he's going to yeah. get you. Yeah, because Kevin, it, it, because you really have to possess the ball because then it's not like. They're trying to possess the ball. Yeah. They're trying to get the ball to the end as quick as, as possible. Okay. So a lot of times it's kept, they're scoring in four minutes or less. Yeah. So if you possess, the thing is, it's not just good enough to possess the football, Skip. Yeah. You got to pay it off with touchdowns. Okay. That's what teams normally beat them. They possess the ball seven, eight minutes, and the next thing you know, they're going into the end zone. Okay. Now that adds even more pressure, and now he's going to get back, man, I got to get it because my defense doesn't have it today. Okay. So I